Here we are, folks. We're testing Xfinity Mobile, and we're going to do this in a couple of different ways. We're going to be testing all things 5G for you. All right, to get you started here, look at the 5G icon in the upper right-hand corner. All things 5G, whether it's DSS or it's C-band N77 or it's millimeter wave N260, 261, it's all going to say 5G. So whenever I'm covering Xfinity Mobile, that's what it's going to look like. You're not going to see the ultra-wide band logo. You're not going to see that branding but that's what it's going to be. All right, to get you guys started here, first, we are connected to DSS, low band 5G. This is 850 megahertz. This is N5, which runs split mode with LTE. It's a 10 by 10 megahertz channels. Um, sometimes I pick up band 13 here, you know, to anchor with band 66 or whatever. But uh, the speeds here aren't stellar. They're very average. 41 ping, 10 millisecond jitter, 58 down, 5 up. Perfectly usable, nothing special about it. But in this particular area, we have millimeter wave. So I'm going to be connecting to that later. I'm going to go ahead and run this fast.com test for you here. And what fast.com will let you know is what type of speed Xfinity Mobile will give you towards video playback. So this is through Netflix servers. If I'm watching a Netflix movie, if I'm watching a show, if I'm on YouTube, any type of video application, this is the throughput you're going to be getting. So we got 2.9 megabits per second on the downlink speed. And then we'll go ahead and run like the uplink and, and we'll take a look at this. Okay, so we've got 49 millisecond ping. The uplink starts out surging at around 15 megabits per second. But I think when I ran this test, it starts to decrease and dip a little bit. All right, so yeah, here it goes. Uh, now we're down to about 10 megabits per second on the uplink, and I think it finishes a little bit slower than that even. It goes to show you when you're not on the ultra-wideband. This is what the expectations can be with some of these MVNOs and some of the prepaid plans. And whenever you're not on a premium plan, that includes like you know, like Magenta Max or the AT&T Elite or Premium, those types of plans. All right, let's go ahead and run the NPERF test. And remember, this is the nationwide 5G this is essentially the same thing as LTE. All right. Uh, by the way, I think I may have been running a video in the background. I, I think I was actually playing a live stream uh, for, I don't, I don't know what I was watching on TV, but it's I think it's running in the background, just to let you guys know. Uh, 11 megabits on the downlink for peak. We have 9.5 megabits on the downlink average. 5 megabits uplink peak, 4.5 average. And uh, the latency doesn't really matter because they're, Whatever servers and perf uses, absolutely terrible. Here is the uh, browsing test. Uh, you'll see it runs Google, Facebook, Amazon, Zoom, and Wikipedia. We've got a 69% rating for Google, 80% rating for Facebook. Uh, the Amazon was really bad at 33%, and it took a long time. You guys can see it took over six and a half seconds to load that page. Zoom, that's a tough one. It's usually really bad. It timed out. It went 10 seconds and did not run and then 86% for Wikipedia. All right, now it's going to go into the video test, and what it does is it runs like a video simulation, video playback for 360p, 720p, and 1080p, and it failed. <laughs> this is why I think it may have something to do with me running the video in the background possibly. Let's just call it an L. Let's call that a fail. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and flash airplane mode, and what that's going to do is reset the connection, and I should be able to pick up the N260, which is 39 gigahertz millimeter wave. Let's go ahead and run the speed test on Ookla. All right, so we got a 24 millisecond ping time, and you'll see that the speed substantially picks up. The node is about a block away. I'm non-line of sight. There's a building standing between me and the node but it still picks it up because millimeter wave is freaking tremendous, absolutely incredible capacity channel, the truest capacity layer in any network. All right, 2,648 megabits per second downlink, 108 megabits per second on the uplink. I'm telling you guys, it is an absolute game changer for 5G home, for mobility, offloading traffic, you know, tons of data users, incredible connection. Moving over to the fast.com, you will see that we are getting multiple gigs per second for fast.com hanging around that 1.6, 1.82 gigabits per second on the downlink. 
really incredible stuff. So, you know, you could hotspot all types of devices with this. You can watch any type of content, 8K, 4K, whatever, right? It's not going to be an issue at all. All right, 27 ping, 1.3 gigs per second is how it closed out with a peak over 2 gigabits per second. Uplink looks like it's settling around 54, 55 megabits per second. So that's pretty good stuff. This is a fast connection, and Xfinity Mobile does get access to it. So some of you may have had some questions about what type of Verizon experience you get with Xfinity Mobile. It's supposed to be QCI 8. It's supposed to get all the bells and whistles with the 5G Ultra Wideband. And to me, I think this kind of indicates that that is definitely the case. All right, so we got plenty of speed here. Very nice. Uh, let's go ahead and run another test. What I want to do is go back to the NPERF. Remember the last test we had was the 5G DSS, the nationwide 5G, and it wasn't very good, and it timed out, and it didn't finish. Let's go ahead and run this on the millimeter wave. Max downlink of 2.6 gigs, average downlink at 2.3 gigs. All right, incredible stuff. The upload max was 138 megs. The average uplink, 129 megabits per second. Really good stuff. Now it's going to run through the browsing test. So Google, Facebook, Amazon, Zoom, and Wikipedia. 87% for Google, 88% for Facebook, 84% Amazon. Remember, Zoom timed out and filled, came in at 64% for Zoom. And there's that ant on the table. These freaking ants. Uh, Wikipedia, just perfect, just fine. Uh, now it's going to run through the video test. Remember, this timed out and failed on the LTE slash DSS 5G test. So let's see if it can make it through all the way on this one. 360p playback, then 720p, and then 1080p. All right, so 96% on the 360p. And then for 720p, you'll see it running now in the background there. And uh, I think that one, it comes in at about 92%. And then for most of you, I think a lot of you have plans that are somewhere between like, you know, 480p and 1080p. So this will be a good test to, you know, to check to see if it'll get it. And it's 91%. All right, good stuff. And I don't know why it didn't give me the endpoint score here. It just like stopped at the end. But no worries. It did excellent. I'm sure the browsing and the streaming scores were very good. Um, and that's perfectly fine. Um, what I want to do actually is I want to do one more thing. I actually want to go back and I want to test a um, that video test that's actually built into the Ookla, uh testing. So we'll go ahead and do that. And this this one's pretty good, actually. I kind of like this one. It's got this cool little image thing. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. It does this like cool effect as it tests it. So all you got to do is when you go into Ookla, you'll see a segment just for the plain speed test. And then what you could do is there's an icon there for you to click on a menu that pulls up the video test. And it'll run it through all the different bit rates for video. All right, so you got um, it'll do like 360p. I think it does um, 1080p, and then I think it tries to do like quad HD 1440, and then it tries to do 2164k. So this is really a measure of how much capacity, right? Your your network can actually produce something from that capacity. All right, so you'll see it running quad HD now, and it seems to be cooking just fine. Here it is testing 4k. And it's running on that bit rate. And uh, it's able to do it. So there it is, 2160p. Let me know what you guys think of the testing. Comment down below. Like, share, subscribe for more, and turn on that bell notifications icon to never miss an upload. Xfinity Mobile testing is on deck. More coverage to come. All the links for all the things going on with the channel in the description box. Thank you for watching. My Gmail, uh, my Patreon, and my Twitter is in there. Thanks again. Peace.